and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sandra and I'm a nurse practitioner. And today I'm going to give you 12 tips on how to get an accurate blood pressure measurement. So throughout the day, your blood pressure is constantly fluctuating based on a lot of variables. And these include physical activity, your mood, your body position, and this is just to name a few. Research has shown that these variables can affect your blood pressure reading anywhere from five to 50 millimeters of mercury. And so it's really important to get an accurate blood pressure, especially if you have a borderline blood pressure or you're running slightly high or slightly low, you wanna make sure you eliminate all the factors that can affect your reading. An inaccurate blood pressure reading could lead to misdiagnosis, along with taking medications or other treatments that you may not need. And so it's really important to make sure you're getting the most accurate blood pressure readings as possible. So these are in no particular order, but they can all affect your blood pressure reading, and so they're all very important. Number one, make sure you empty your bladder. Having a full bladder can raise your blood pressure as much as 10 to 15 millimeters of mercury. So make sure you have an empty bladder before you start your measurement. Number two, make sure you're using the correct cuff size. Having an incorrect cuff size can affect your blood pressure reading anywhere from 10 to 40 millimeters of mercury. So this cuff says that it fits an arm circumference of 22 to 42 centimeters or nine to 17 inches. And it's almost always indicated right on the cuff. So here you can see it right here. So if there's any doubt that the cuff is the correct fit for you, you wanna use a bendable tape measure and measure the circumference of your upper arm. Number three, you wanna place your blood pressure cuff over bare skin. You don't wanna place it over clothing. Having clothing beneath a blood pressure cuff can affect your reading anywhere from 10 to 50 millimeters of mercury. And so you wanna make sure that the cuff is placed directly on bare skin. Even if you have on thin clothing, like a long sleeve t-shirt, you still want to make sure that the cuff is placed on the bare skin to ensure that you are getting an accurate reading. Number four, you want to position the arm with the cuff at heart level. So when you're taking a blood pressure sitting up, you want to make sure that the arm is supported on an armrest, on a table, or on a pillow. If the cuff is not at heart level, that can affect your reading by as much as 10 millimeters of mercury. Number five, you want to make sure that the legs are uncrossed and both feet are planted on the floor. You don't want the legs to be dangling from an exam table or a high chair. This can affect the blood pressure reading from two to eight millimeters of mercury. You want to make sure that both feet can reach the floor. Number six, you want to sit comfortably and calmly with your back supported in an upright position for about three to five minutes before starting your blood pressure measurement. This will help ensure that your body has had time to stabilize from any changes and you will get a more accurate reading. Sitting with an unsupported back can affect your blood pressure reading from 10 to 15 millimeters of mercury. You also want to make sure that the room temperature is comfortable since being too cold or too hot can also affect your blood pressure reading. Number seven, do not talk or have a conversation while taking your blood pressure measurement. Talking during a blood pressure measurement can affect your reading from 10 to 15 millimeters of mercury. So you wanna make sure that you're sitting calmly and quietly throughout your blood pressure reading. Closing your eyes during your reading can help your body to stay more calm and close out any environmental stimuli. Number eight, do not drink caffeine, alcohol, or smoke before taking your blood pressure. Any of these can affect your blood pressure reading from five to 10 millimeters of mercury. Also, many drugs can affect your blood pressure, including pharmaceutical drugs. And so you want to make sure that you're checking your blood pressure before engaging in any of these factors. Number nine, you wanna wait at least 30 minutes to check your blood pressure after any exercise, eating, or other types of physical activity. Taking your blood pressure too soon after any of these activities can affect your reading from 10 to 20 millimeters of mercury. And so you want to make sure that you have given your body time to calm and stabilize before checking your blood pressure. Number 10, do not check your blood pressure when you are feeling stressed or emotional. This includes feeling upset, excited, anxious. Any change in your emotion can affect your blood pressure. And so you want to make sure that you are in a calm emotional state before checking your blood pressure. Taking your blood pressure when you are stressed or emotional can affect your reading from 10 to 15 millimeters of mercury. Number 11, check your blood pressure in the morning before eating or taking any medication and again in the evening before going to bed. Taking your blood pressure under the same conditions at the same time every day will help ensure that you're getting accurate and consistent readings 
and you'll be able to better visualize any patterns. And number 12, you want to take your blood pressure monitor to your doctor's office or clinic to compare your machine to their machine. Especially if it is a new monitor, you want to make sure that it is giving you accurate readings. And so you want to take your machine somewhere where you can compare it live to another reading. Also, as many of you know, just going to a doctor's office can cause your blood pressure to elevate. This is known as white coat syndrome when your body starts to feel stressed in that type of environment. And so even if your blood pressure is running a little bit high at the office, you wanna make sure that it matches up with your blood pressure machine as well. All right, you guys, so I hope this video helps to achieve more accurate blood pressure measurements, whether that is in yourself or in your patients. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like this video or you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get all my new videos. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.